pineapple under the sea. Sponge Glock Square Pants? What? That's right, we're playing Sponge Glock Square Pants, friends. It's basically like normal SpongeBob, except you have a gun. I shot my own pet snail off oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, back to normal now. That never happened, did it, Gary? Oh, what the hell was that? Stupid bed? Oh, I can't even pop it. Is this... Oh, <laughs> a pile of blow left on your counter from last night? Yeah, I thought that's what it might be. I just wasn't sure cocaine would work underwater. All right, here we go. Wow, an open world. This is amazing. It's like reliving my childhood. Except this time, I have a Glock. Oh, police. Look, I'm like the police too. Bang, bang. See? Bang, bang. I'm stopping bad people. I don't think she minds, really. She looks happy about it. I can talk to her. Hey, SpongeBob, I should probably run because you're looking sharp today. Ha 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 ha. You're dead. <gasps> Bubble Buddy. He's popped now. I don't know if I'm going in here for a robbery or to work, but to make sure I don't have to commit robbery or, God forbid, work, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. Thank you to Omaze for sponsoring the video. I've talked about Omaze many times before on the channel, but if you didn't already know, Omaze gives away one-of-a-kind prizes and experiences while donating money to chosen charities all across the world. Their sustainable approach to fundraising means that nonprofits can spend less time and money raising funds and instead focus on serving the needs of their communities. They are back with a brand new campaign. This time you can enter for your chance to win a Tesla Model S Plaid. <laughs> future is here and you're in the driver's seat. Be among the first to own a Tesla Model S, the fastest and most advanced production car ever made. With a nearly 400 mile range plus a massive 1,020 horsepower electric capable of going a quarter mile in under 10 seconds, nothing will be able to stop you. Its top speed is 200 miles per hour, its range is 390 miles. Its special features include 17 inch cinematic display, new yoke style steering wheel, 21 inch wheels, panoramic glass roof, in-car gaming from any seat, 22 speaker, 960 watt audio system with active noise cancelling, Bluetooth, wireless, and USB-C charging, and HEPA air filtration. Head to omaze.com slash callmekevin to enter for your chance to win a Tesla Model S Plaid. Thank you again to Omaze for sponsoring this video and supporting me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Yes, references. Oh, I don't remember this reference. <laughs> I'm brewing up some things in my lab. What things? I'll show you soon, but you can't narc. You wouldn't want to see what we do to narcs back in Texas. All right, I'm going to take the LSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is demented. Oh my god, this is so trippy. Uh, the rest home. Yeah, let's go in there. I like how the E thing said barge in. I just shit my pants. All right, bit of oversharing there, Gramps. I'm not your grandchild. I'm still trying to figure out what it is that I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'll go visit Patrick. He might have an idea. Oh, hi. <laughs> Are you all right? You look a bit worse for wear. I can't feel my toes. I don't think you had toes. Oh, wait, I don't have any. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm one step ahead of you. Sorry, Patrick. You're just... You're too stupid to let live. I'm worried you'll just end humanity or something. Why did he have mayonnaise on him? Oh, because it's an instrument, of course. I was the one calling him stupid, but I can't even climb the feckin' ladder. You hear a shotgun click when I tried to go into Squidward's house? Probably for the best. I mean, he just heard me executing Patrick, and he's my friend. I wonder what kid version of me would think if he could look ahead and see that adult version of him slaughtered all of his favorite characters from SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm hunting. By which I mean I'm trying to make the entire species of jellyfish go extinct. I feel like I'm doing a good thing though. Like, jellyfish bad, right? Like, I think we should get rid of everything that stings. Like, jellyfish, wasps, ointment of any kind. Alright, my job here is done. I've definitely just destroyed an entire ecosystem. One eviction notice. That's what I looted off him. They'll always find a way to serve you, won't they? They knew just how to get me. <laughs> Place an unsuspecting victim, and I just couldn't resist. Bang, bang. Oh, the bank. Oh, let's try and rob it. Hey, I'm here to rob the place. Hand it over. <laughs> you should have just handed it over. All right, I got a credit card. One crippling death. I'm starting to believe that... Looting is bad. Like, uh, not like morally, I just mean bad for me. Oh wait, hold on, I got a wig. That's pretty decent. Jesus, he just folded up on impact. Some of the, uh, head models are absolutely terrifying. Like, there's something up with his eyes and I feel like it's a reference. But I can't quite get it. I, I can't remember. <laughs> but I do vaguely have recollections of someone looking like this in the cartoon. God, he won't look away. He knows that I recognize him. 
All right, this I can't do that anymore. Whoa, what do we got here? A UFO? Oh, oh my God. Jesus Christ, that is a UFO. Okay, I'm running. It's funny because I remember the layout of the map because it's the same map they used in uh, Mr. Krabs overdoses on ketamine game. Yeah, I've played a lot of SpongeBob games. That was one of my favorites. Oh, I can see the objective. Go to the... Okay, I was there earlier, but no one said anything. Maybe because I was opening fire on everyone. Oh, maybe into Mr. Krabs' office? Hello, Mr. Krabs. Oh, he looked at me. He must like me. Or knows that I liked his game where he overdosed on ketamine. It's debt collecting day. I've got a list of people I need you to have a chat with. Don't let me down, boy. <laughs> now get to work. Go to Squidward's house and collect the overdue ketamine debt. They all link together. All right, I gotta be careful because the dude has a shotgun. Oh, I just kicked it down. Okay, I'm coming in, I guess. Oh no, this turned into a horror game all of a sudden. The red mist is coming. The red mist? What? Oh my god. That's terrifying. What? Oh my god, did he execute him? Uh, yeah, I think Squidward just got uh, executed. I mean, Patrick did too, to be fair. It just seemed more brutal that time. It, it felt like Squidward was in a dark place. Go to Patrick's house to- Oh god, I hope I didn't shoot him fatally. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, he's strong. New objective, snap Patrick's neck, Jesus. Well, there goes my childhood. Go to Goo Lagoon and assassinate Larry for his unpaid steroids. I hope to God no child has stumbled upon this video because they're like, ooh, SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, I, I, I forgot, since you're underwater, you're not allowed to go underwater because what does that even mean? If you're underwater and you're saying, I'm gonna go underwater again, it doesn't make sense. You guys better be careful, though, because if you slide off that thing, you're dead. Or if I shoot you, you're dead. They all have guns, and I'm a little bit worried. Because this guy's just denying steroid usage, and I don't know what else to do. Will I just attack? Eh, it just says assassinate him. Okay, I'll try and do it from a distance. Boom, headshot. Okay, defend yourself from Larry Seidman. What? I was miles away. There's no way they could shoot me there. <laughs> There's a guy flying again. Just keep never in the know. Maybe I'm better off being close then and just going nuts. Wait. I can just shoot them? What? Can I kill them first? No. Okay. I don't know what that mask is made out of, but it's strong. Oh yeah, they can just shoot you straight up through the wall. All right. All right, I think I got them all. Great work, SpongeBob. Gotta say, if I ever become a hitman, I'm gonna assassinate people with this music on. It makes it feel less bad. So I know this probably won't hold up in court, but I just wanted to give context to this clip and say Mr. Krabs told me to do this, but the footage corrupted, so I can't actually prove it. Just please believe me. All right, I'm sorry about this old timer, but well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, you're supposed to be a superhero. Shouldn't you like stop it? Uh, you know what? Never mind. There we go. Everyone's dead. Again, I don't know why I just shot up an old folks home. Like, surely Father Time would have assassinated them soon enough anyway. Hey, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, I'm glad you got that big smile on your face. Have you heard about the murders? Kill Sandy in her meth lab to even out the drug trade competition. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to be fair, that LSD is nasty stuff. It's probably for the best. I really think just puncture it, you know? Let all the water in. Oh, oh Jesus, did that work? Incoming call. Okay, it worked, I guess. Kill Nerks in downtown Bikini Bottom. <laughs> all right, so again, I'm just opening fire on the innocent. I like that most of the people he wants me to kill, I've already killed for literally no reason already. Oh Jesus, what happened to you? You were like already bloody. <laughs> That's what you get for not passing me on my driver's license. Oh, I got a driver's license and I got ketamine. Great. What a day. However, I better not use them together. That would be irresponsible. And just remember, if you ever feel like you're the most useless thing in the world, this town has a police station. <laughs> the one thing this game is missing is a usable cinema. Like, if you could go in here and watch the episodes in Irish, I would give this game a 10 out of 10. Of the Bosch Key! It's what the people want, goddammit. Okay, I'm here to get funds for Mr. Krabs or something, it said. Uh, sorry for standing on your face. I don't know how to get the money. All right, I'm just gonna attack again. That seems to be the best way in this game. Just open fire without asking questions. It's the one game that rewards me for doing without thinking, and I'm trying to think for some reason. And I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Like, it hurts to think sometimes. That one brain cell is a bit overloaded these days. Not even the dead can escape me. <laughs> oh, wait, I can loot him. Gold's the balloons. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Can't believe I just killed the Caribbean movies way shorter than if they just said Glocks. Wait, I'll take you out too, me own employee, in me true form. What the hell does that- What? Maybe I shouldn't have been going around killing everyone as he asked. Jesus Christ, what is this? What do I do? do ah, Jesus Christ. This is a feckin' horror game. Okay, he is not affected by this. Maybe I can get him to run into these plants, whatever the hell they are. Okay, yeah, that worked. It didn't hurt him, though. <laughs> what do I do to this guy? Come on in, you damn crustacean. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he's weak now. Okay, I can shoot him at when he's weak from the explosion. I see. Reload that Glock, SpongeBob. <laughs> I like how the magazine just kind of slides out and slides back in. Okay, I got him on red health. I need another plant. Come on, I need you to run into this Mr. Krabs, if I can even call you that anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should drop the Mr. Because when you're this naked, it feels a little formal. Well, there he is, dead. <laughs> God, it's kind of beautiful in a way. Like, not the creature, but, you know, the life and all that. And I, I don't know. I don't know how to make, like, a, a mark out of this story. A game by Mix Morris. Mix Morris, I'd like to get a peek into your imagination because boy, do you have one. <laughs> a very good one, but a very disturbing one. Credits to you for playing and beating the game. I love when the game thanks me. I just want every credit roll to just be my name. <laughs> Sorry, I went back to do it again. But I guess we'll have to end it there because that is all that's left in the game. I hope you enjoy this little video on SpongeBob Glock Pants. What was it called? <laughs> Sponge Glock Square Pants. There we go. I got it there in the end. It would be kind of weird if he had, you know, Glocks for pants. Yeah, I mean, it's weird anyway, but I guess we will leave it there. But if you enjoyed this episode of Sponge Glock Square Pants, please do subscribe. I would love to have you around. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I post every day, so I hope to see you tomorrow, but bye for now.